A configurator is a group of listing settings that you can use to list hundreds of products in bulk to a channel. Because different channels require different settings, configurators must be made for each channel you want to list to. To create an eBay configurator, go to Settings, Configurators, and choose eBay. In this screen, you will be able to see the eBay configurators you have already created. To add a new configurator, click on Add New. First, give the configurator a name. This is something for your own internal use, so you can recognize the configurator later. Next, pick an eBay account to assign to this configurator. A configurator can only be used for one eBay integration, so if you have more than one, pick the account that you want to list to here. Next, pick a site that the configurator will list to, and choose a displayed currency for the item. Then select whether the listing is fixed price or an auction, and select its duration. In the Returns section, select whether or not returns are accepted for listings created using this configurator. Refund info needed. Next, select who will be responsible for paying for the return and the return within duration. If you are listing to the US, you can also set a restocking fee. If you need to add a more detailed plain text returns policy or any special instructions for the buyer when checking out, specify them in the boxes below. Click Save to continue. In the payment screen, choose whether or not you accept immediate payment. In store pickup and click and collect. Before saving these settings, decide on what payment methods you accept. Next, you will need to define the shipping option for your listings. At a minimum, you will have to define the state, city, and the postcode that the item will be shipped from, and select at least one shipping service. There are a lot of other settings in the screen, all of which are explained in a further video. Back on the main screen, the duplicate button can be used to copy a configurator that you have already made. Use this when you need to make a new configurator that is similar to an existing one. If you need to delete a configurator, select it and click the delete button. You can't delete a configurator that has listing templates associated with it already. To find out if you have a listing templates associated with a configurator, look in the templates column. The number on the left represents the amount of single listings templates exist for this configurator and the number on the right represents variation listings. The checkbox on the far right of the screen toggles if the configurator can be used to create listings or not. If you are midway through constructing a new configurator and you want to make sure that it's not used until it's ready, untick that box. If you have made changes to a configurator and want to apply those changes to all its assigned listings, you can select it and click the cog button at the top right of the screen you then have the option to click Revise Selected. You will then be asked what parts of the configurator you want to apply to the listings. You can do this in bulk by selecting multiple configurators.